Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 1, the first map change video of many. And in today's map change video, we're just going to give you guys a really quick, brief overview of the entire Fortnite Battle Royale map, which you can see on screen right now. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, smash that subscribe, smash that notification bell. You want to stay up to date with all of the latest Fortnite news, storyline content, tips and tricks, and everything throughout Season 1, Chapter 2. I will be covering it on the channel right here for all of you guys okay so how do we even start with this map change video well i think to start with we're going to go over all the main point of interests give them a little overview for you guys watching this video right now and then in the other parts which will be up on my channel later this evening i will show other locations no idea what's going on here with this pier but that's pretty funny so the first location we are at is sweaty sands now this one is really awesome this has a skate park it has a whole beach vibe to it and is a really nice point of interest now again this is just going to be a quick overview of the entire map ignore the glitches which are going on all the way around and don't forget guys if you haven't entered in code post box pack yet you can go and enter that in for the season one battle pass and then get a chance of getting gifted a skin or a battle pass all you've got to do is comment down below your epic games name and let me know that you're using code postbox pat and if you are using code postbox pat you guys could have a chance at winning an upcoming battle pass but there's our first location there or a skin in the item shop now moving over to this side over here we have holy hedges this is a location that's covered in hedge a brand new point of interest and it's a really nice location why is the lighthouse doing that over there i have no idea what are you doing lighthouse oh wow <laughs> but yeah holy hedges an awesome location we have it right here for you guys and that is the new map change right there as we keep rotating around we have obviously heading over to the weeping woods reminds me of lonely lodge a lot so a nice little new woods we've got on the map here come and check this one out guys obviously i'm not going to go exact tour of everything just yet because we could be touring for hours the whole map is a brand new map change i just want to give you guys an overview of everything we've got so next Next up, we've got Slurpy Swamps. So this one is really awesome. This is probably going to be one of my favorite locations. I love the vibe that this kind of Slurp factory is giving. We have all of the Slurp design in here with the Slurp truck. We have this awesome factory design right here with the Slurp on top. So this is clearly where the Slurp juice is created. A really nice concept and a great addition from Fortnite Battle Royale right there. So there's lots of other point of interest on the map that have all actually got names, by the way, guys. As you continue to go around the map you'll land at points of interest for example this dam isn't actually a named point of interest but it will give you some sort of name which pops up on screen now i don't know if we'll ever be able to see them names again because they go straight over my head personally but let me know in chat if you guys know all the locations of all the side point of interests okay so next up we've got kind of like a happy hamlet summer vibe going on right here and this location is actually called misty meadows a really nice spot it's definitely worth going to and i really do like this area so I've got to land at all these. They're so cool. I could tour these for hours. I just want to give everyone a quick overview. So yeah, smash that like button if you haven't already on the video. Smash that subscribe. I'm your number one source for map change content on Fortnite Battle Royale. So make sure you guys are doing that. We also have a point of interest type thing down here, which isn't a named point of interest, but it's kind of like a mixture of loads of stuff. So we've got kind of like a scrapyard, a bunch of stuff here, like a hut. We have a bunch of... Uh, things in the back over here as well this is kind of like a section you can go to but it's not a name point of interest so maybe something could be coming here in the future i don't know but kind of a nice new addition right there this is my first time ever flying around the map by the way guys so i'm kind of taking everything in as you guys are as well it's quite hard to take everything in look at this little easter egg over here so many little easter eggs we need to break down there's so many things i've seen as well so we've got to just keep going around and keep showing off what we've got we've even got a tunnel down here that looks like it leads to some sort of base Ooh, what's happened there we got stuck are we stuck <laughs> oh no we're out again so yeah that's nice it's really nice to see okay and rotating round we have a new location over here now this location to me is classic retail row again i'm pretty sure all of you guys know what retail row looks like but it's in a different setting and a different vibe there are a few new additions we've got a bus stop over here and a few other changes to the color of the houses they look like they've fully been constructed so a fully constructed retail row up and running operational right here really nice to see no dirt burger or tomato head restaurant in here though a really nice location let's get out of here though you guys don't want me to stay around here the entire time let's keep rotating around if i go over here we've missed a cool point 
of interest looks a bit like tilted towers and this is lazy lake over here this looks very similar to the tilted towers structure in my eyes obviously with a slight few changes there and then but it kind of gives that vibe and this one could be the new tilted towers location it looks like it's going to be very action-packed and very busy right here so it's definitely worth landing that and checking out i really do like this location make sure you guys are checking it out so lazy lake right there as we keep rotating around the map we've obviously got more stuff on this side of the map heading back over to the glitchy lighthouse <laughs> that lighthouse is so glitchy we've got four more point of interest which i've missed so let's keep going over to these so we've got dirty docks which is located over here this is the dock location this one is really nice and it's definitely worth checking out all of them are worth checking out but this one especially because obviously the container vibe is really cool it kind of gives back that old container location but giving it a new fresh look to it, a new fresh feel. We have the Dusty Depot hangers in here kind of as well. So that's really cool. And I think that's a really nice addition to the game right there. And the factory vibe over here, over at the brand new Dirty Docks points of interest. So as we keep rotating around a little bit further, we've obviously got the Frenzy Farm location, which is just located over here. So this is a really nice area. We've got all the grasslands here. We've got the house here on the hill kind of, which is really nice. And then we've got a few nice farm vibes. Not as good as Fatal. Well, it looks better, but I still am gonna miss Fatal Fields. But I love the farmhouse. Wow, that is one big house. This one's gonna take a while to loot. So nice new addition now on the size. The size the map definitely feels like it has increased it does feel like it's taken a while to fly around but that may be because it's brand new in the game another little easter egg for you guys as well is risky reels has returned it's just down the road from frenzy farm and it's right here the return of risky obviously it's a brand new vibe instead and it isn't actually called risky reels there's no name for it however it kind of gives that vibe with the double rr right there so technically it's called risky reels but there's no point of interest name on the map for it so a nice little area there where you guys can go and check out just down the road from the farm as we keep rotating through we've got another little farmhouse over here this isn't actually a point of interest but a really cool spot as well the farmer's market over here so you can grab yourself some apples if you need them and then we've got two more point of interest to show off we've got the steamy stacks this one is the cube plant where it's actually fueling stuff with the cube really nice new addition we've obviously got the uh, kevolution energy <laughs> i love that kevolution energy guys do you get it kevin that's so cool and in here apparently you can actually gain a lot of shield from the river because these are actually supplying the river so they really are extracting kevin right here using his dark element to power the entire map great work fortnite right there <laughs> but yeah apparently it's leaking into the rivers and it, the rivers are giving you shield that's what i've heard anyway i haven't actually tried it out for myself but really nice location and again i could tour these for hours and i will do separate videos on each location but for now let's keep rotating through and just keep going over because there still are more point of interests over in this direction so this one here is craggy cliffs i think or crab craggy cliffs is it i'm not too sure i can't make it out in tiny font but this is the location here of this and it has the actual fish sticks restaurant on the beach which is really nice to see so really cool stuff going on here wow this is awesome really nice point of interest and there's so much going on you just don't know where to land or don't know where to visit it's going to take us all a while to get used to the old map but i think that's what's good about it uh, sorry the new map and that's what's really interesting we even got a nom store in here so this is a really nice vibe to it a lot of easter eggs everywhere even the cars have been revamped and everything so crazy crazy stuff and finally guys the final location for you guys which i haven't really showed off is obviously the lighthouse up on the hill over here this isn't a point of interest but it's a really cool location and it has a lighthouse vibe and it's really nice and obviously you can come over here and you can kind of explore these spiral stairs going down which would probably make you really dizzy if you run all the way up them and run down them but really nice stuff there we even have an old picture of dusty in here which is really cool kind of like an easter egg there for you guys lots of easter eggs coming soon on the channel obviously there's pleasant park as well which is just right there now we've looped back round to the start again and here we are at the first location sweaty sands so welcome to the new fortnite map hope you guys have enjoyed today's video i think i've been over every location i missed out salty springs but obviously you all know salty springs guys it's exactly the same as it originally was a few little changes there and then with the houses but basically a copy and paste of the original salty inside of the map so i hope you guys have enjoyed smash that like smash that subscribe more map change videos coming very soon hope this has given you an overview of the entire fortnite battle royale map just before I end off this video, I want to say thanks everyone for supporting the channel. Much love and respect. And don't forget to go and smash code postbox pat in the item shop. There are so many cool map changes and Easter eggs all around this map. We could go over it 
for hours and days. Each little island has its own unique piece. This is quite a unique point on the map, the main point of interest in the middle. It's kind of like an abandoned area. It looks like no one really is here. It's kind of really strange. It's got obviously fully furnished, but it looks very old and very, very retro. So I'm not too sure what's going on with this middle section. Maybe this could be something to do with the future, but the whole map itself is absolutely awesome. You can see me kind of spinning around the entire map right here. The whole area is brand new ready to be explored i can't wait to go over all of this again you guys looking at all these threads and all the little nitty gritty things that are on this map change it's just crazy map changes at the minute is just insane we have had a brand new map it's physically impossible for me to go over everything but i will try and tour each individual location giving you guys an overview of everything in each point of interest so that's really nice to know and hopefully you guys would like to see that on the channel because obviously for me to tour each location it's going to be very fun very enjoyable and you can kind of get an idea where all the chests are located as well so that's really cool and a nice little new addition there so hope you guys have enjoyed smash that like smash that subscribe don't forget to stick around for daily fortnite battle royale content and once again this is postbox pat signing out